Alright guys, I got us a new project uh, that I'm going to be starting on. My dad had a 1995, so my stepdad, had a 1995 GMC Suburban. And I told him if he ever decided to get rid of it, I wanted it. Uh, it's been a one owner, he's had it, I guess since 1995. And it's just last year or so, it's just kind of been sitting there. So I'm on my way now to go pick it up. And that's gonna be my new ride. I plan on doing some things to it, kind of put a lift kit on it, maybe a two inch or a three inch lift on it, some new tires, new rims. And uh, oh, it's a new project, so I'm excited about picking it up. And uh, you guys stay tuned, we'll, we'll show up to you. All right guys, I figured I'd do a walk around, kind of show you what the truck looks like since I brought it home. It's been sitting up a few months, and uh, you can tell how dirty it is. It needs a good cleanup to it. But really, as far as the body, it's actually pretty good shape. Not a whole lot of rust on here. Uh, no dents. That's really got to be taken out. I don't plan on doing a whole lot to it. Plan on keeping it original. Right there up top there around that window sill, they had a little leak up there that I'm going to have to do some repairing on. It's got the uh, carpet kind of smelling funky on the inside. But there shouldn't be too much to get that fixed and repaired. I've got some uh, LED lights and stuff on the exterior that I'm going to put in. And actually, I'm changing all those lights out because they're kind of dull looking. So I've already ordered all that off of Amazon. They'll be coming in, so you'll be able to see those upgrades that I'm going to do to the lights. Like I said, as far as the tires and rims, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to keep the rims or not. I might change them out, but I am going to put about two, two and a half inch lift on there. And I put some bigger tires on there to give some more ground clearance. The bumper, I got to change that out. And uh, let's see, here's the inside of the truck. I got to change the uh, door handle on the passenger side. It's all jacked up. I think I got the actuators might be bad and a few of the doors. Uh, door locks are not working. I have to check on that. But as far as the inside, the interior and everything, it looks pretty good. Even the, uh, the roof up there, everything's still in place. It's, the liner hasn't fallen out or gotten loose, so all that looks good. I've changed the LED lights out on the inside of the uh, doors already because I had pre-ordered some of those. So I've already had those ready and I installed those. It take but a few minutes to install those in. But I like the blue color. I love the interior color of this truck. And just a little TLC, uh, I think this truck will look a whole lot better. And once I change all the lights out, I think that'll really help it. But um, I've got a, a son that owns a detail shop, so they're gonna take it in and uh, at least get the outside looking halfway decent and help me kind of get that smell out of the carpet. But anyways, not bad for a little fixer upper. Uh, these few shots here are this uh, what the truck looks like now and the last one will be a picture of what it looks like after my son t took it to the detail shop and cleaned it up a little bit on the outside and washed it really good. And cleaned up pretty nice. 